This is an exciting time to be at the Nicholas School. The issues that we study and care about have never been more salient. Together, we've identified four key areas where we already have extensive expertise, but where additional investments could actually further leverage our scholarship to improve the world in which we all live. The first of these is One Health slash Planetary Health, where we're trying to understand the drivers of climate change and global change more broadly on both human and ecological health. The second area is on climate science and nature-based solutions that draws on our leadership in ecology and in forestry since the 1930s to think about how natural solutions can substitute for more gray solutions like building seawalls to actually protect us from some of the worst damages from climate change. The third area is in marine and coastal systems which draws on our leadership in climate science related to the coasts and related to the oceans since the establishment of the Duke University Marine Lab in 1938. We also have a full service research vessel that takes students and faculty around the world to study our ocean systems. It's one of the highlights of our educational programs that we can offer these engaged learning experiences. And lastly, we focused on the energy transition. As we move from fossil fuels to renewable energy, how will we actually make this transition in a way that is equitable for everyone? Duke is celebrating its 100th anniversary in 2024. As we honor the legacy of leadership and environmental scholarship that the Nicholas School and Duke University represent, it's also a really important time for us to look to the next 100 years and think about ways in which we can invest in one another, help us better engage, that elevate the profile of our research, and that accelerate our impact to improve the world in which we all live.